Despite coming as runners-up on the show, Christian, who lives with cerebral palsy, has since been the target of cruel online trolls, leaving his family utterly heartbroken. Well, we're joined now by his sister Jade and his mum Diana, alongside Katie Price, who's been uh, incredibly vocal in speaking <laughs> out about online bullying. Morning to all Good of you. Good morning, Thank all you for of joining you. us today. Morning. Um, so let's a uh, little, little bit of background on, on Christian, Diane, um, because uh, you and your husband Neil are foster carers. Uh, so how did he come into your life? So um, we got the call to see if we would take him on as a foster baby. Um, at that point, he'd been in a coma. Um, he was still born and had brain damage and they didn't know how long he'd survive. So he came to us at five weeks old as a foster baby and with a very uncertain future. And then since then, we've gone on to adopt him. So he's a permanent part of our family now. No, he's such a gorgeous little boy. We were lucky enough to meet him in here what, a long time ago now. And, Jade, you've been fundamental in his life because you were told by the doctors that he wouldn't be able to communicate and you found a way, and this was through sign language. Yeah, I mean, I saw, like, when I'd heard about sign language being used for people who couldn't talk and couldn't communicate as well as people who was like deaf and things like that so when i found out i thought oh i have to try it with him and he would just smile and laugh and he would love it every time i did it with him but i was actually signing with him every day for like a year and a half before he actually signed back um, so yeah, we were told by a lot of people like, he's not going to do it, Jade, but he did and he proved he everybody wrong. Well, yeah, I mean, let's emphasise yeah. that. He, you were told he would never be able to sign or communicate. And then, so what, what did you feel? What was the first thing he signed and how did you feel? So he signed the word finished after he was, after he'd finished eating a yoghurt. <laughs> I said, and it's finished. And then he just signed it back and I was like... Was that coincidence? And I was like, Mom, Dad, I was crying my eyes out. And they came in and then he did it again. And that one just stuck with him and it wasn't a coincidence. He, he took it in. Um, and yeah, like a week later, he had two more signs and then on and on and on. And yeah, it, it just helped him to grow and develop so, so that, much. That joy that you experienced there as a family, you then take and you share with all of us who watched you on Britain's Got Talent and the choir and the joy you brought to so many and it was a real magic moment for all of your family and you, you were runners up on that show and sometimes you can't quite believe when you start an interview where this is going to go because although that moment was hugely important and joyous for all of you what's followed on from that has been hideous and horrible because he's been trolled online. Yeah. I mean, obviously Britain's Got Talent has just been like an amazing journey for all of us, like a once in a lifetime experience. Um, but then obviously with getting like more followers, you get so many more supporters, but you also get more of them trolls and them awful comments. And unfortunately for us, they're all aimed at Christian, not us, they're aimed at Christian and he's five years old. Mm. It's so cowardly, they don't aim it at um, Jade, it would be wrong to aim it at Jade as the adult, but they, it's all aimed at the five-year-old who's done nothing to deserve anything. Mm -hmm. So here we are in lockdown and we all went into this hoping that by the end of it we'll have appreciated ourselves more, other people more, the planet more, freedom more, and then what's happened is that you've you've ended up, it's released these vile, stupid keyboard warriors. What What have they, if I can ask you, what have they said? So it's been, um, there's lots of like disability slur words, like the one beginning with S and the one beginning with the N. Um, things like that he should have been aborted, he shouldn't be here. Um, things about like ways that they'd like to kill him and oh just horrendous things, things, like, things that are pair never have to read ever. Well, I'm so sorry. I really am. Not that that makes any difference, but it's just so horrible. Um, you have decided to hit back because one way of dealing with this is not to look and you sort of go, well, I, I'm just not going to let this in. But actually, you feel so strongly about this and you, you posted a video online urging people to be kind. We've got some of this. Let's have a look. At the moment, and I know so many other people are as well, but Christine is getting so much disability so much. hate so online. Much. 
Um, I mean, some examples up here. Yeah, um, some of yeah, the, these are the my older ones because we can't we can't put some of them on here because they're that bad. Um, and he's a five year old boy. I mean, it's not good to hate on anybody, but hating on a child who can't even defend himself. I just mean Charles just needs to just go away now. Right, before you put that comment, that might be the last straw that really, really uh, yeah. does damage to somebody. And even though, like, luckily, Christian can't read any of them, and he knows yeah. none of that, but so, we as family have to read that. So and there's been over 100 comments just in the last few days. So you post that. Um, has it made any difference? Did it stop the comments? Um, I, I wouldn't say it stopped them, but it's it, the support has just increased, and reading the support always helps. Um, to overcome obviously the trolls and more people have been sharing it and retweeting it and spreading it so hopefully more people are reading that and thinking oh wait it's not it is actually hurting people yeah. we just want we actually wanted the trolls themselves like we wanted to reach some of those people who write those comments and and talk about like yeah the damage that, that that comment could do and they might just think it's a bit of fun and like you were saying about the 10 seconds weren't you and uh, it just yeah like it, it can take them 10 seconds to just write a comment and they might feel like powerful and oh look at me I'm so funny for like maybe 10 seconds but that could then play on the, the person who they've hated on's mind for like 10 hours 10 years or even like the 10 the last 10 seconds of their life it's, Your in, it's one. utterly, utterly incomprehensible for a, a, a five-year-old boy who's done nothing but inspire um, that, uh, that, that, that these cowards, and most of them would be anonymous, uh, these cowards would do something like that. And, Katie, something, this is something that you are very much aware of. Yeah, hi, guys. Hiya. I'm so sorry that you're having to go through all of this. So sorry. I, I, everything you were saying, I'm just agreeing with absolute everything you're saying. Um, and this is why I do my Harvey's Law. I've got a new campaign coming out, a new petition this week, because it, it has to stop. And it's like, I would love to go and meet some of these trolls. Um, it's something I'd want to do to ask what goes through the head. What, why would they want to sit there and... Oops, are you still Don't there? Worry, yeah, we, we got still you. Hear you. It's uh, fine. Sorry. Um, why the, um, why, what goes through the head to want to do these... Um, like make these videos and comments, what are they getting out of it? Um, so I'm hoping to do do something, well, I am starting a new petition, basically, that I think online, any apps and online stuff, you should be have ID, so then you can get tracked. Because at the moment, um, you know, they can close you down and then they can open enough account and start yeah. abusing again. And I think the more that you say it hurts, it hurts this and that. And sometimes I think it just encourages them, especially when I've named and shamed a few of them. I think they get a kick out of it. But that's why I'm so strong on doing what I'm doing. Because as soon as something's in place, all it is, is I think that as soon as these trolls know that you'll get fined, go on a register, or you can even go to prison um, and you get a criminal record, I do think it will slow down. But at the moment, there's absolute nothing in place. So people think it's funny. And yeah. e although also the people who retweet them, they yeah. are just as bad. Well, we know they, that... Um, I don't know what they get out of it. No, no we don't. know that uh, Jade and Diana are compiling those tweets, they're compiling a list of those tweets and all the app yes. handles so that, you know, they eventually, uh, this could quite possibly end up with hopefully prosecutions and, uh, and you sort of f fertile out that coward and uh, they suddenly realise what they're in for. Um, uh, we've got uh, Philip now, Philip Grendel, who is, um, is a specialist in online trolling. Um, and so what, what is the law here? You're an ex-Met detective. You've now got this, uh, this Defence Global company. Um, what is the law? What can we do? Because we contacted, unsurprisingly, we contacted TikTok, Facebook and Instagram for comments and no, none of them came back to us. Uh, good morning. No, that doesn't really surprise me, uh, Philip. Um, so, yes, we uh, at Diffuse Global deal with exactly those sort of issues. And the law that most people will, will uh, most of these offences fall under is malicious communication. And it's effectively completely out of date. It was brought up in 1988 as a result of poison pen letters that um, were existing back then. You can see how far away that was. And it, you know, it just basically hasn't kept up to date. So one of the big issues is, it, is that it has this term in it called grossly 
the offensive. So in order for it to be an offence, it has to be uh, indecent or grossly offensive. And it's this term that causes a lot of the issues because it's so subjective. And, it, and it, it, whilst it's not defined specifically, it's, it's more than offensive. But it also goes on to sort of say that you know, even if it, it's hurtful or it's harmful, that doesn't make it grossly offensive. And so very often when I was investigating these on behalf of MPs uh, in Parliament, you know, the politician will be saying to us, I'm grossly offended. And we'd be saying, no, you're not, not according to the law. And so I think that's where there's a real issue. And of course, until you get through that element of it and, and prove that it's grossly offensive, you then are unable to, or, uh, to, to apply to the internet companies for the identities of those responsible. But it's important to recognize also that, for instance, when you contact Twitter to investigate an individual, Unless you do it in a certain way, Twitter's first response is to inform the person that they are being investigated. So that's their first reaction to it. And of course, what happens then is the person deletes their profile uh, and deletes any messages, and, so and, and then the, they're that's, gone. That's, I'm assuming that's the that's the algorithm that, that that does that. There's not someone there who, no. who's sitting there actually actively doing that. And it's Twitter's policy around if they're under investigation, they inform them of that fact. Wow. wow. Can I ask you then, in your opinion, you were saying that what's important is that this is grossly offensive. Listening to, to Christian's story here and some of the, the messages that have been put out there about him, surely that counts as grossly offensive? Yeah, I, 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 listen, I, I've watched the video that, that they, they've put out. I've read some of the information. I've read, uh, you know, Katie's evidence to the petitions committee. And I think every one of those would hit that plateau for being grossly offensive. So Where the challenge be, is. Can I just ask, sorry, because we're, we're slightly running out of time. Can I just ask that? Because if you take this to its sort of logical progression, you think, right, OK, they get investigated and then what? It goes to the police get involved, then it goes to court. I mean, this all takes a really, really long time, yeah. doesn't it? And also the numbers of these messages is so huge that it's yeah. impossible for the court system that's already under a lot of pressure to be able to deal with this. So doesn't there need to be a sort of more instant consequence to this? No, I completely agree. And I think yeah. even when... You know, even when you see uh, them going to court, what, what they get doesn't actually impact them at all. You know, I think the consequences need to be, uh, you know, blocking them from using the Internet or their mobile phones completely. Because let's be blunt, if you drive your car and you and you drive it dangerously or something or you're drunk, you lose your driving license. You can no longer use your car. And yet somehow you can be using the Internet or your mobile phone to access it uh, dangerously. And yet you can carry on using it. So it seems to me that the consequences need to be into. And, you know, that's one of the reasons clients come to us at Diffuse rather than go to the police, because they want that instant uh, identification of the individual and then they can take proceedings that way. But, yeah, the consequences need to be actually impacting them where it hurts. Wow. Well, we, uh, we spoke to the CPS Crown Prosecution Service. A spokesman said uh, online trolling can cause anxiety and misery and the CPS takes this very seriously. We will not hesitate to prosecutes if there's sufficient evidence to do so. It's a matter for Parliament to make and strengthen the laws, not for the CPS. Um, so, Katie, uh, you, were, you were listening there to Philip and what he had to say with, with his yeah. uh, company, um, Diffuse Global. So, um, so what, uh, how close do you think that there is a chance that something like this could... We've been talking about this for years, um, yeah, yeah, since it have. all started in the first place and we all got excited about online communication. So how close are we to resolving any of this? Well, obviously, the COVID's got in, in the way, but uh, we are that close. And I agree with Philip. It is There needs to be something in place, a punishment, or they need to go on a register. Because, like you say, there's courts every day for all different things. But online trolling, there is so much of it but there needs to be a quicker thing as well to like get them on a register. And then I think there should be like, if someone goes for a job, <clears throat> they can click on, you know, click on a system where it says register. And if their name comes up, they can check yeah. what, what they're but against. There is a like, well, that's Harvey's, uh, Harvey's Law, which we wish you the best of luck. Yes, We've luck supported with you all the you way through this, time. Katie. Uh, um, yeah, I'm sorry about that. We what we want to do Christian is we want to bring Christian well. in. So Christian uh, is going gonna, is gonna to come in. He's going to sign Be Kind for us, so, uh, so let's, let's Where bring is him he? in. Come in, I can hear him. Christian, come and say hi. Oh. Hi, Christian. Be come in. People understand the hit. I'm so thankful for oh. Hi, Christian. Hey. Hello. So can he, can he sign Be Kind for us? Are you ready? Say Be Kind. Be kind. Yes. Yes. <laughs> 
Oh, Thumbs you. Up. Yay! So let's have a look. Let's have a look at that one because we want to learn that as well. So it's. Be kind. Be, be kind. Oh, that's an easy one, isn't, isn't that? it? That's be a really kind. good one. We're um, there. Oh. We well done, Christian. You. you are gorgeous. You really are. And actually, your whole family is as well. You really are incredible. Thank you so much for being here today. And let's hope we get some sort of resolution to this as well. Bye, Christian. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Bye. Thanks, Katie. Thanks, Philip.